Two movements, more club head speed, and it's only gonna take five minutes. Let's go. We all want to get on the course and hit long drives, guys, right? We want more club head speed, and we want to see that ball take off and keep traveling, okay? So, we need to prepare the body, and we need to be able to stabilize and create speed, okay? So we've got two movements here. All you're gonna need is a golf club, and it's gonna take you barely any time at all. Perfect way to use this would be a warm-up, five minutes before you tee off, or as a quick home workout so you know that you're working on your game, even if you're not on the range or the course. Okay, so what are the movements? Number one is gonna be the lunge to club hold rotation. So here, we're looking at unilateral stability of the lower body. That's where the lunge comes in. That means we have to manage our center of gravity. We have to stabilize and activate through the legs, through the hips, to create that stable base. Okay, and that is huge for your golf swing because if you can't use the ground and house your power, you're gonna leak efficiency, you're gonna leak speed, and it's not gonna be too good, guys. Right, so really work that lower body, create that unilateral stability, and then, with the club at arm's length, you are gonna rotate your torso over that lead side, okay? So you're turning your core against the lead leg, against the quad, against the hip, and that is gonna create that nice activation profile, lots of core activation, and within that, you are making sure that you maintain a neutral spine and your center of gravity, okay? You combine all of those factors of stability, rotation, and center of gravity through spine angle, you're gonna have a solid, efficient swing to build upon, okay? And that's where number two comes in. That's gonna be the step to swing, okay? Super dynamic. Essentially, this is overspeed training, just with the golf club. You're gonna start with your feet together, you're gonna to step out into your golf posture, and in doing so, you're gonna complete the swing. Because of that additional momentum and the fact that you are already moving, that stomp into the ground is gonna give you the ground reaction forces. You're then gonna rotate and go full, full send with the swing, okay? So make sure here you're loading properly, you're using the ground, there's no inefficiency in your footwork where we roll to the outside of the foot. We wanna press off the ground on the trail foot as we step, and then as that front foot lands, push, rotate the hip, and let the club absolutely accelerate through, guys, all right? Big thing here, always work both sides because the body needs to be able to decelerate as well as accelerate, okay? So essentially what we're saying, when we go to the opposite hand swings, because it's understanding the pattern, because we're creating balance in the body, you are gonna be far more able to accept and therefore create force and speed in your swing. Okay, five minutes, you're gonna do one minute of the lunges into one minute of the step to swing, one minute lunges, one minute step to swing, finish out with the lunges again, ensure the body is exactly where it needs to be, and you're all set to absolutely smoke drives, guys, all right? Two movements, five minutes, and you can play some incredible golf, all right? So, if you like this video, make sure you save, like, subscribe, Use these two movements to see the gains on the course and then it's time to get the golf wad out, guys, right? Because this is just the tip of the iceberg. We've got so much more to help your game and we're gonna continue working on it, guys. All right, so right now, grab a club, build some speed, golf strong.